Assigning your digital activities through Google Classroom is the simplest way to give your students their work. In this video, I'll walk you through how to assign your activity to your students and also how you can go in and check on your students' work. So first off, open the class that you want to share the assignment with. You'll notice along the top, you see different tabs. You're gonna click on the Classwork tab. Click Create to start a new assignment and just click Assignment. Here's where you'll type the title and you can type any optional instructions that you might have for your students. Next, you're going to add the activity to the assignment. So click on the paperclip icon that says Add. And then you're going to go to the Google Drive where your activity is stored. When you purchased the activity and you clicked the link, Google automatically saved a copy of the activity into your Google Drive. Now you're going to look in My Drive and you're going to find the activity. Okay, so now I see the activity and there's one more very important step. Right here it says students can view file. If you leave it like this, the student can open the file, they can look at it, but they don't have any access to typing in it or moving around any images or objects. So you click the down arrow and click make a copy for each student. Google Classroom will automatically give a copy of the digital activity to each student. Over here, you can decide who gets the activity. This is the class that you're in, and you can choose specific students, or you can just allow all students to get the assignment. You can change the number of points that it's worth. You can create a due date, a topic, and even attach a rubric. But when you're finished, all you have to do is click Assign. Now your activity has been assigned to all of your students. So now let's fast forward a little bit, and you've assigned your students' activity and they're working on it on their own. At any time, you can go in and you can see exactly in real time what your students are doing, what they're working on, and you can even leave comments so that you can start open communication with them. In order to do that, just go to your drive. Google Classroom automatically creates a folder called Classroom, and in that folder is all of your classes, all of your students, and all of their assignments. If you open it, you'll first see all of your classes. When you open a class, you'll see all of your assignments. And when you open an assignment, you'll see all of your students that are in that class. Now here's the fun part. You can see exactly what your students are doing just by opening their file. You may see an icon of your student in the class. That means that they're in here and they're working and you can communicate with them if you'd like to. You can scroll through their slides and you can see exactly what they've been working on. So on this slide, I can see that she's already completed her work and she's already answered the question. If she's correct, I could leave a digital sticker. I could even insert a comment and tell her great job. Going into your students' files in this way is a great way to monitor what they're doing and to help answer any questions that they might have. I can go through each slide in the same way, quickly checking the student's answers and for any areas in which I may need to help her. Now let's fast forward a little bit further and pretend that the students are finished with their work and we're ready to assign their grades. To do that, go back in to your Google Classroom. On the Classwork tab, choose your assignment that you want to add a grade to, click View Assignment, and we're going to add the grade over here in the left-hand column. All we have to do is hover over this section and there's a space where we can type in their grades. And that's it. Google Classroom makes it extremely easy to assign, check, and grade your digital activities.